UAB is once again on the forefront of a medical breakthrough in the fight against the coronavirus. The hospital helped develop a drug now being used across the globe and right here in Alabama as a potential treatment for COVID-19. CBS 42's Malik Rankin joins us now with what this means for patients who are battling coronavirus. Over 1,000 patients participated in a trial with the drug remdesivir. The data shows that those that were administered the drug saw quicker recovery times. I spoke with doctors here at UAB on how it works. In a study conducted by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, coronavirus patients were treated with either remdesivir or a placebo. The data shows that remdesivir has a clear-cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. Dr. Paul Getford says the drug is 31% effective and can help save lives. This is the first step, um, first drug that we've tested in humans really that has direct antivirus activity, so it actually targets the virus directly. 16 patients participated in the study at UAB, each receiving 10 once daily infusions. So yeah, it, it, I don't think it's, it's not a miracle drug in that people take it and then are immediately better. So there's still many hurdles to come, but to have actual positive progress this quickly in, in the global outbreak is, is certainly encouraging. Doctors expect the FDA to fast track approval of remdesivir. If and when that happens, the next obstacle will be potential shortages. Uh, and this will be, will likely become standard of care. Um, and the, the challenge is going to be for Gilead, the drug maker, to come up with enough doses to treat the number of people that are going to need this. More data will be released on the effectiveness of remdesivir in coming weeks. There is still no FDA approved treatment for the coronavirus. The doctors I spoke with today say their next step is to receive approval to administer remdesivir to the patients in the study that received the placebo. At UAB, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.